You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. So what about the current guys? Do you yep. bring them up if you're offering more to new hires? I've seen this. The current guy is right across your ad and says, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah that that this is different than paying more money for sure. And there are some things you can do. So for instance, if you already offer PTO, instead of expanding the PTO, you could change the start date, right? So you could say, look, most companies will say we offer five days of PTO, but you have to wait, I don't know, like seven years before you can actually use it, right? right. It's 90 days or 120 days or a year. Mm -hmm. So one way you could do that is if you do offer PTO, bring the startup to day one or offer a couple days right up front. Both of those things, number one, are one-time expenses. They just happen in the first year. They don't replicate throughout the entire life cycle of the employee, right. and they don't impact current employees. But you are right. If you aren't offering any PTO, then yeah, you're going to be giving it to everybody. And and so start with five days or whatever, but just keep in mind, PTO, and it depends also, if, you, if you're paying salary, it doesn't actually increase your expenses. It just means you're without that person. Right. It doesn't drive up that cost. But yes, in that instance, you're saying we're going to use PTO to recruit and we're going to use PTO to retain. Yes. And that is an expense for sure. But trust me, it is of everything you could do with your employees. It is more valuable than a sign on bonus. It's more valuable than paying a little extra money. If my choice is to pay 10% more, get PTO, I get PTO every day. Just think about the emotional benefit of I'm at the lake and still getting paid. Right. That is That's, different than I have my own money and took a day off without pay. It's ex different. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I love, Brian, you hit on that. And guys, you hear me, and I, I, I talk with this and I work on this with, with our private clients. And this is what um, I, I try to get, get to the point here because there's so much to it. Mm -hmm. In our experience, we had guys, you're going to have guys, I, I'm a big, I'm a, I'm a big um, fan of peace rate. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I push, and as you know, Ryan, I talk about, um, selling hours and I have this thing called HVI, the hourly value index, okay? And so I get the company, when this company knows it's one number, it can literally run the company with that one number, okay? And so I was concerned, I, my whole thing of, of guys being happier switched um, and I got the competitiveness out of them and, I, um, and all, those, all those things I wanted. When I switched from driving sales, like always talking numbers and pushing numbers, because a guy gets to dollars. point dollars, mm -hmm. like dollars, like pushing dollars, getting, we need average tickets of $1,500 and we're selling this and we're pushing that and we gotta constantly get your truck up and up and up and up. When I switched it to the HVI of selling hours, the guys got more competitive. They just, mm -hmm. they just see me as I just want you to, you know, you just want me to make more money for you. Mm -hmm. But what it did too was it switched in my brain, Ryan, what, what these guys are looking for because I had guys look we all and you guys know this out there give, give, give me an amen for you guys out there or tell me I'm full of it I don't I can handle both okay <laughs> that your guys across the board no matter where you're at in the world about three o'clock in the afternoon the cows are looking for the barn the guys are looking to go home on the whole you're gonna have a you're gonna have some top performers are going after the money they're one step under being an entrepreneur themselves, wanting to do the things. But most of your guys want to go home and go fishing, want to go make it to the kids' practice, want to just go, they just want to do anything but plumbing. And so I, when I switched it to when they made the hours of what I needed for my, and I won't go on that explanation, that's for another program, um, that, that made me keeping my crew retention a lot easier because I had guys, I got what I wanted out of them from the truck but they were getting off at two and three o'clock in the afternoon every day, right? And we're happy. And if I wanted, if I wanted to make more money, I just added a truck. I just brought another guy, you know, and placed him there. You know, so that yeah, I think, I think that really nails down whether it's managing people and motivating people or even hiring. That concept that while you want X, you can't phrase it in terms that are what you want revenue. That's cool, but right. your employees don't see the benefit of that. And it's either unapproachable or it has negative connotations behind it, right? So when right. you switch it into something that they can understand, that is personal to them, and usually that has to do with removing money out of it, right? Yes. Number of deals for us, number of demos, and you know the numbers of doing things versus the revenue. And you can get your multiplier to multiply what that means from a revenue standpoint. 
But that is something that doesn't have the negative connotation of money and something that they can see in their own personal life. Yeah, it's perfect, right? And so right. PTO is the same thing. It's not about the cost. It's about number of days off. How many days do I get off to go do something? Cool, we're going to offer 10 days off, 10 paid days. That's again, something that they can connect to and say, I totally understand what that means. It's 10 trips to the lake. It's 10 times going skiing. It's 10 times doing whatever. It's, it's 10 three day weekends, right? Like they can connect that to what matters to them, which is not the money at that point. Right. It, it isn't, it's an emotional, like, I have companies we compete with that actually like pay for their vacation. They'll pay the trip because again, there's so much value behind it. I don't think you need to do that because right now the bar is so low in plumbing that 12 unpaid days is supposedly something you should tell people about, right? <laughs> right, right, right. It's like, <laughs> right. we won't pay you if you're sick. Right. Like, right. But so when the bar's that low, it doesn't take much. Like I bet for a lot of plumbers, you know, five days of PTO would be a huge, a huge competitive advantage. Mm -hmm. Just like five. Because when you when all your competitors give none, right, mm -hmm. like, that's a big deal. What's right. interesting is if you read ads, these guys are very specific about what they offer, even though it totally sucks. And then you have people that actually offer PTO that don't actually tell you how much you get or when it starts. And so for that same thing, like if it matters to them, tell them specifically before they apply. You want people to like not no show on an interview, make sure the job is something they're really, really excited about having. PTO, right. mm -hmm. works, some of those things, more than just money, they, they, and, they're different. And that there's a skill, and I, lo I love where you're going with this, Ryan, because it's, look, I'm, guys, guys, we're plumbers. Mm -hmm. we're, we're not wordsmiths. We don't look at things this way. Mm -hmm. Also, we're the entrepreneur. We're, we love our company. It's the best company ever, and so why wouldn't anybody want to work for us? And that, and Ryan, that's the first thing I ask guys when they look for the hiring. I, I ask, you know, why would anyone want to go work with you? I, I say it just like that, like what you know, why why would I want to work for you? Yeah. What, what do you got to offer? Mm -hmm. Well, we got we got a tr truck, and we got I got equipment. Well, I, who cares about that? Why you know? Yeah, you so, got that too. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. So it's what's guys, in it for me? right? What's in it for me? Mm -hmm. So it's it's learning that, and quite frankly, when you're busy growing your business and running things, you don't have the time to do that. So that's why I am pushing Applicant Pro. We haven't. You should be an Applicant Pro. We've had some that said they just signed up, and others that are. I know there's others on here that use an Applicant Pro, guys. And you can simply type uh, Applicant in, in the comments, mm -hmm. or if you're listening, you go to the million forward slash Applicant. Mm -hmm. Pro, yes. Okay. Well, can to, we do one thing demo. in case some people don't know what Applicant Pro is? Ryan, what is your 15 second elevator pitch for Applicant Pro? What right. is Applicant Pro? So sure, sure. So Applicant Pro gives you the ability to have a easy list of pre-qualified candidates to pick from. That's the best way to think about it. We started off offering software, and it was like giving a giant freaking monkey wrench to a little kid. Like they'd swing it all over the place and bash up the place, right? Mm -hmm. you, and, and it was like it would help, but then they'd write a terrible app, right? Mm -hmm. And so now it's much more of a full service sourcing solution. You tell us what you're looking for and we'll write an ad that people actually are attracted to. We'll post it, we'll rotate it. Your whole idea of always be recruiting. We'll actually write three versions of your plumbing ads and they'll like be rotating throughout like each month, a new ad will show up. They'll be a little bit different and so, will set up the screening so when you want to hire, there's already a list of pre-qualified candidates sitting in there to go look at. And to me, it really is like, always be recruiting isn't like driving your business, it's also like a courage thing. Nothing gives you courage, like knowing you can hire the replacement for that dude who didn't come to work on time. Yes. Mm -hmm. you have a lot of courage when you, it's the same thing like, you, there's two courage uh, drivers in business, it's demand and applicant. If you have demand for your business, you will tell customers no. You will stop taking bad deals and yes. stop doing bad work. And applicants, there is nothing that gives you more courage than knowing there are other people out there ready and qualified that will work for you so you can fire that guy. Okay, or I you can't, can have a hard conversation. I, I, can't, I can't stand myself. I, I gotta jump in here, Ryan. I can't, because I love you, brother. Guys, you hit right on. I, I, tell, I tell my, you know, my clients, and, and of course, in the academy, I, I hit I hit on this, but pri we work together, and I, you probably hear me on on the program here. I push two things to the guys: it's marketing, which is demand, mm -hmm. 
because mm-hmm. I talk, we talk about what we call the freedom lifestyle. So you can get get the boat, and you can go, you know, skiing and boating and hunting and whatever you're into with your family, mm-hmm. and not be working on the business every day. Right. But it's marketing, which which is demand, mm-hmm. and constantly recruiting. Mm-hmm. All right, which gives you the ability to the guy that's just kind of not doing Learn your again. system. You can cut them. You know, you can take them out back and shoot them. But I, I didn't say that. I didn't. <laughs> Facebook is going to get me. And I, right. and I don't even think it always comes. I don't always think it comes to firing. I think it comes to having hard conversations. A lot right. of those people you don't end up firing when you actually properly stand up and be like, dude, that's not cool. Right. Like that's not cool. We're not going to do this. We're going to do this. And you can do that with a level of courage and confidence knowing, hey, you know what? I'm really pissed at this guy. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to log into Africa Pro and gather a little courage. There's 10 people in here that I could hire. Dude, right. you're out. Yes. And and so that versus what normally would happen would be you're upset at this person and you're like, oh man, if we fire him, I'm going to have to write an ad and post it. It's going to take a bunch of time and we're going to be out this stuff. Instead, this ad's running. The applicants are there. You can literally log in and be like, oh man, this guy right here is so much better than the guy I'm about ready to talk to. Come on, let's have the conversation. I'm ready. Right. Let's go have it. Because I can literally call this guy and schedule the interview tomorrow instead of waiting and then being behind the eight ball and looking at it from a concept of like, well, if I fire him, I don't have a worker. I don't even know who the worker could be. I'll it could be try. months before I find somebody. I'm going to be out all that revenue. You know, right. well, I'll just let it slide today. Exactly. Right? You hit right on. That's And that, guys, and guys, I'll say, I was in that trap. Sure. I, I was. Sure. I mean, I did it. So Absolutely. I don't have to throw anyone else under the bus. We, we, we all have. And, we, and that's, it's what, what it is. Mm-hmm. But that's exactly what this provides. Applicant Pro makes it possible. It systemizes your hiring process, okay? Right. And it's an important key. And, and Ryan, I want to throw in here. I want everyone, you, everyone should be have Applicant Pro. Mm-hmm. But those that also know me, that you know, you're always recruiting. So it's a major part of, your, of, of the process. Mm-hmm. But you yourself, too, want to be having your guys letting them know that, hey, we're always hiring. We're having a culture of always hiring. Right. And that you yourself are handing out cards saying, hey, we're always looking for good guys and that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. So it's just part of the process. Yeah. Right. Hey, what are, well, I mean, and even along those lines, like when we, those jobs, every month when they're posted, we can actually email your guys with a link that they can click and share on Facebook. Perfect. So the system will even systematize the employee referrals and be like, hey, post this on Facebook, you'll get credit and we'll pay you something when we hire your person, your friend, right? And so even that, it kind of automates you not having to do that with your guys. The system will do it. You load up their email addresses and walk away. And every time we repost the job, your guys get a link to go post and share. Like it just it just runs its thing. You're getting this piece plus a person. Like if you want to hire, like you don't even need to log in. You can shoot a text or give a call to one of our people. They'll answer the phone. They'll ask you a handful of questions. You can go back to work. They'll write the ad. They'll post the ad. They'll generate the applicants. They'll set up the it's, it's you're hiring a bookkeeper instead of buying QuickBooks. Right. Yes. You're not Perfect. getting that initial job. Great. We're not going to do. Example. We're not going to interview for you. I'm not going to tell you who to hire, but we're going to do that initial demand generation so that there's just a pot of people sitting there. I can tell you when I hire, it's what I do. I don't write ads. I don't freaking post ads. Like I have a couple companies when when my CEO of one of my side companies needs to hire. I'm like, dude, I'm just going to call Giselle over here. She's going to fire it up and she'll call you in a week and tell you who we've got to look at. But why would you be wasting your time doing that? You're not good at it. And <laughs> like, you should be doing your job, which is building my software product, not reading resumes. That's right. And so <laughs> exactly. it really is like the most efficient way is in the same way I'd be pissed if that guy was in QuickBooks, creating invoices and, and receiving deposits. That's not what the CEO of a 12 employee software company does. Thank That's you. not exactly. his job. Yeah.